So the, the, the reason we want to um, police the borders is to prevent illicit excavated objects from being transported out of the country. The illicit excavation destroys the archaeological record. We lose information about the archaeological circumstances of the find of the object. So we want to inhibit or prevent that kind of illicit activity. One way to do that is to prevent it from passing into an international com uh, commercial marketplace. So there's the policing at the border itself and there's policing of, of uh, subsequent borders where the objects are then transported by importation into other circumstances. So there are objects that end up being out of the region, either legally or illegally, and then what's to do with these objects? How can we preserve at least the information they contain? How can we protect them? With the prospect of their returning back to the region. So there need to be created safe harbor zones in, among scientific instrument, in, institutions like universities or museums where they can be preserved for the period of time until they can be returned to the, the uh, jurisdiction of the state. We've been talking so far about portable objects, objects that can be moved across borders and what to do about those objects, but there are sites that have to be protected as well. And sites can't be moved, but they can be damaged, they can be, they can be demolished. So to prevent their being damaged, they're being demolished, there needs to be some policing at the site. What better to do that than the mechanism that's in place already, this is the blue helmets of the United Nations that have to go in there and can protect those sites. Which means we must police the borders to prevent the illicit excavation of archaeological sites and the loss of archaeological evidence that, that that, that encourages. Second, we have to create the possibility of safe harbor zones where these objects that are outside the region can be kept until they can be returned safely to the region. Uh, third is we have to encourage the return of partage, which is a sharing of archaeological finds around the world, not just north and south, but around the world, uh, to distribute the risk to those objects around the world. And then fourth, we have to protect sites themselves. And the only way to protect sites themselves is to put boots on the ground to do so.